you're excited. You're like, whoa, naked ladies. Ooh, a vagina right in front of me. I've never seen that before. Wow. Right? I know that feeling. You know what I'm saying? I was curious on what a woman looked like naked when I finally got to see it. Boom. Spring into action. boner Rific. I got excited. So I want to thank Chris. He's a subscriber and he commented on one of my other videos in regards to NoFap and how he suffers from social anxiety. Chris, don't give up on the NoFap thing. It's going to take some time for the NoFap superpowers and the benefits of NoFap to kick in. So how does NoFap cure social anxiety? How can NoFap help you? with suffering from social anxiety. Before I get into that topic, I wanna to talk about something called dopamine. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about it, and I'm sure you guys probably mess around with a few dopamine pills now and then, I'm just kidding. But dopamine is basically the hormone that makes you feel happy, all right? When you watch porn, you are flooded with dopamine, okay? You are supreme, orgasmic joy. Your brain is just literally saturated in dopamine, it's producing dopamine based on the stimuli that you are seeing. Now keep in mind your brain secretes dopamine. Oh, to be honest, I don't know where the dopamine comes from. Your brain, your kidney, I'm not sure. But your brain gets flooded with dopamine from other stimuli, not just porn, okay? When you're eating a pizza, all right, the first time you ever ate a pizza in your life, I'm sure your brain was filled with dopamine. It was mind blown, like, what the flip is this triangular piece of cheesy goodness going in my mouth? That feeling was dopamine. Just, so, just for fun, I want you to experience another scenario, okay? So you've been eating pizza your whole life, right? All you've been eating was cheese pizza, right? You're eating cheese pizza, you think that pizza's the best thing in the world. A year later, somebody introduces you to pepperoni pizza, and you're like, what the flip is this? There is pepperoni on a pizza? My pizza, my pizza journey has just exploded with new, new possibilities. So the moment that you tasted that pepperoni pizza, your normal dopamine levels of eating pizza has now skyrocketed to another level, all right? You have surpassed the normal level of dopamine and now you are at another level of dopamine, okay? Don't even get me started on the point where you finally put ranch on your pizza. Boom, Super Saiyan God Mode. Anyways, that's what dopamine is, okay? Dopamine is your happiness level, your joy level, the amount of joy in your brain that you can get from different experiences, different stimuli, different experiences, different tastes, different smells, different interactions, yada, 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 okay? Dopamine is the happiness hormone. So now that we know what dopamine is, when you are, when you are watching porn, all right, when you're watching porn, from whatever age you started watching porn, you started watching porn, you got happy, all right? You're excited, you're like, whoa, naked ladies. Ooh, a vagina right in front of me. I've never seen that before. Wow, right? I know that feeling, you know what I'm saying? I was curious on what a woman looked like naked when I finally got to see it. Boom, spring into action, boner rific. I got excited. I got dopamine flooded, okay? That's what happens. You watch porn for the first time, your dopamine explodes. The problem with porn, on the other hand, is that it is readily available. It is readily available, streaming content every minute, every hour, there's new porn in the world, that your brain becomes so used to that dopamine level, it's gonna crave more. It's gonna crave more and more and more. You're gonna crave more porn, more niches, more different types of porn. POV, blondes, Asians, blacks, I don't even know, cum shots everywhere. I don't even know like whatever niches, you know what I'm saying? Like your taste in porn is gonna evolve because the dopamine levels, all right? <laughs> I know this is not making sense, so let me try to re-explain it. You're watching a specific type of porn, AKA just cheese pizza. The next week you're introduced to a different type of porn, a different niche of porn, AKA pepperoni pizza. Then sooner or later, you're gonna get tired of this pepperoni pizza, all right? that you're gonna want some Supreme Pizza, aka a different niche of porn. You get what I'm saying? Sooner or later, the, the flavor of porn that you want, you're gonna wanna experience the other flavors of porn constantly, constantly. And the fact that this computer right here, the fact that this computer can give you the different doses of dopamine constantly, different levels of dopamine constantly, you're gonna become highly addicted to porn and this stupid ass computer. Because while you're watching porn, your dopamine levels is skyrocketing, skyrocketing, skyrocketing over and over and over again to new limits. 
your brain is gonna get fried, over fried with dopamine, okay? It's gonna get overloaded to the point where everyday activities and the vanilla porn that you were first introduced to is no longer producing any dopamine, okay? Example, now you have supreme pizza with ranch and that's the best that's the highest dopamine high you'll ever have. The second you taste regular cheese pizza, you're like, what the funk is this? This is not exciting. This is boring. I want my Supreme Ranch pizza. You get what I'm saying? Just like with porn. The second you go back to the softcore porn that you were first introduced to, it's no longer exciting. Because now that you, now your taste has evolved to want more graphic shit. Okay, and now your dopamine levels and your expectations of what produces dopamine is so high The regular shit doesn't count anymore. It doesn't help you. It doesn't give you the dopamine that you crave your brain craves and wants How does this affect your social life? Remember how I said that dopamine levels fluctuate from everyday experiences whether you smell stuff you taste stuff you interact with things All right when you interact with people, human nature, okay, before you were introduced to porn, before you're watching porn, before you're addicted to porn, before you saw a woman naked, all right, you, you got dopamine levels from interacting with people. Interacting with people, when you're a kid playing on the playground, your dopamine levels skyrocketed because that was a natural thing. Your dopamine levels skyrocketed when you're a kid interacting with people because that brought you joy, okay? When your teacher said, hey, you did a great ass job on your essay, you got dopamine levels, it skyrocketed, and you got joy. You were happy, your, your brain was saturated with dopamine. Now keep this in mind, before porn, we have normal dopamine levels, okay? Interacting with people, we have normal dopamine levels. We get happy interacting with people. Touching a person, we get happy just shaking their hand, just hugging them. We'd have emotional joy. From that we get fulfillment from that from watching porn our dopamine levels has fried our brain it, it rewired our brain to only get that satisfaction that satisfaction that fulfillment from porn now when we stop watching porn we have to it takes time it takes time for that re that wiring to unwire and to go back to normal to go back to normal of how our brain was before porn before it wired into the corrupt dopamine seeking porn seeking brain that we have now it needs time to unwire to, and to become the brain that gets dopamine from normal interactions okay to find joy in human interaction not through a computer screen so when you stop watching porn your dopamine levels is going to become normal your interaction with people is going to start producing dopamine it's going to start producing joy and the fact that you're not getting the dopamine rush from porn, your brain is gonna want to chase the dopamine from elsewhere, other stimuli. Again, from, from interacting with people, from going to the gym, getting results from the gym, from starting a business, or from doing extracurricular activities or hobbies that is beneficial for you, that brings you joy, that makes you interact with other people, etc. But your brain is gonna become addicted to the new form of producing dopamine. So quit the porn. Quit producing dopamine, quit getting happy off of porn, and substitute that with something beneficial. Interacting with people, playing a sport that you love. You know what I mean? Doing something that you love, something that fulfills you. Do it, just don't do the porn. Don't do the porn. <laughs> Remember how I was talking about dopamine and how porn just skyrockets your dopamine levels and then it just fries your production of dopamine where you don't produce dopamine like you did before? There is actually studies that say that porn and the dopamine levels that you, the dopamine rush that you get from porn is equivalent to doing crack or cocaine. I'm not sure which drug it is, but that's how bad porn actually is for the brain. All right, it's basically like you're getting an overdose on drugs for free on a mother effing computer, okay? So guys, I hope you guys got something from this video. I hope you guys learned something from this. So Chris, if you're watching this, I know you are. Of course, don't, just don't give up, buddy. Don't give up on the fact that not watching porn will greatly affect your life and although you won't get the you won't get the results instantly you can't expect it to happen overnight or over a month sometimes it might take over a month all right but all in all it will happen the effects that you are looking for the benefits that you want will happen but it's not going to happen just by hoping for it and not watching porn you need to exercise 
your your interaction with people you need to exercise what you want so again if in this case you want to be more open socially start small start talking to people at school that you're sitting next to just ask them how their day is what they like what they hate you know what i mean get to know someone and build from there and maybe after you're getting to know this one person you get to know another person all that kind of stuff join a club join join a club in school i don't know something that makes you slowly interact with more people so anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't already be sure to like this video i make videos weekly i try to shoot for three videos a week i'm going to try to shoot for even more if possible this channel is all about entrepreneurship fitness no fap and honestly just a lot of videos that can help you to better your life and also occasional food videos just because i love stuff in my face with food so if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and like this video I want to thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless you. And have the best day ever. I, I,